Greetings everyone, it's IT2. Today I'm going to the gym and I'm having a meal before I go so I thought I would show you what I've got cooking today. We are having these um, Crown Prince Wild Caught Sardines and Tomato Sauce. Ooh, get a load of that. Uh, I had some of these at work the other day. Pretty good, but they're kind of gross looking. I'm also having some yams, sweet potatoes, whatever. And I'm drinking some pomegranate blueberry V8. I'm having these crackers. I need a little bit of carbs. I'm going to try to hit five miles on the, the, car, the cardio bike, whatever you call it. Today. It's been hard staying on my diet. I've gone off a little bit. As soon as I went on this no carb diet, no soda diet, I haven't had any sodas. But somebody bought pizza for first shift at work and they left like a couple pieces left. I didn't eat any of that. Second day, they're like, oh, we had all these expired donuts in the machine at work. So here's some free donuts. I'm like, ah, I can't eat donuts. Didn't eat any donuts. Thursday, my buddy at work in Kurdistan is like, oh, it's my birthday. I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff. He brought in like two trays of cupcakes three packages of cookies, Oreos, Chips Ahoy's. I'm like, oh my God. So I had a few cookies and I had two, three cupcakes. One big one, two little ones. <laughs> Other than that, I haven't really gone off my diet that much. I'm having like crackers. I've been eating some hamburgers, cheeseburgers, because I had some of those I needed to eat, like, eat that I had from before. So I had to buy some buns to put on, to put the hamburgers on. And I've got some old like pasta like lasagna Chinese kind of stuff in the freezer from before that was like stuff I'd take to work but other than that I've been pretty good and I don't know stuff like this not a lot of sugar in it probably but today we made that lemon tea again it's like super sour if you go to Iraq or Turkey or anywhere you say you want a hot sour drink they're gonna know what you're talking about you take dehydrated lemons, you break them up, take the seeds out, and put it through a tea. Super, super sour. Yeah, I need this protein for my own muscles. I am back from the gym. A little sore, not too bad. Kind of just my back has been hurting all day, but I don't know. Uh, did pretty much a full body workout. I forgot to mention with the food thing, the carbs, whenever I eat carbs now, I feel bloated. Like, I don't want to eat carbs anymore. Kind I mean, noodles is fine. Crackers is fine. But, like, processed cookies and cake, that kind of stuff, it just kind of grosses me out a little bit. I think that's how it was when I first went on my keto diet, too. But then, somehow I got over it big time. And I was way into them again. So maybe I just... Like, if I don't eat salad for a long time, I get to craving salad, too. But then you eat a lot of salad, you get sick of it. It's almost like my brain craves carbs, but my body craves salad. If that makes sense. Like, uh... Like sugar cravings, you get a little bit of sugar, your brain fixes itself. It's like somebody who needs to smoke, kind of like. Last time I tried to go off sugar, I went blind after three days or something, right? I went on that keto diet and I was about to go to work and I just, whoop, my vision went to a pinpoint and it just went black. And I had to like reach around and find some peanut butter and give me a boom pull of peanut butter. I was like, whoop, I don't even know how the, I knew that would fix it, but I, I knew I hadn't had any sugar and I was like really craving it, so I figured that's what it was sugar blindness or something. So, um, yeah, I'm not that sore. Last time I worked out, I wasn't sore the next day hardly at all. So, my buddy at work, I think he's wanting to go again tomorrow. He didn't go today, but he's still sore from like three days ago. Because he, does, he doesn't get like a full night's sleep, I think. is why he's not, his muscles aren't repairing themselves. Because you got to have like deep REM sleep, I think, to like fix your muscles. He sleeps like biphasically, like three or four hours. And he'll wake up and he'll go back to sleep three hours before he goes to go to work. He's always tired. <clears throat> anyway, sleeping pills are good for that. But he'll wait till like four hours before work and he'll take a sleeping pill. 
So he'll sleep four hours, and he's like sleepy for four more hours at work because he's been on an eight-hour sleeping pill all night. It's uh, stupid shit like that. Anyway, oh, he was also telling me something about... Oh, this is funny. That has nothing to do with the gym. He was telling me about how he hates Iraqis. He says, I hate Iraqis. I hate all Iraqis. They're just, they're all awful people. I've met like 5,000 of them. I know they're, they're all bad. And a few seconds later, he's like, no, I'm not racist or anything. <laughs> like, it sounds like you are. He just said you hated all Iraqis. But then uh, he says, you know, Iraqis, they, uh, they say stuff like, I can't even tell you. Like, they don't use these words in America. It's, it's so bad, I don't even want to say it. I was like, well, now you've really got my attention. i got to know what it is now. Tell me. So you're like, why do you always push me on these, Jason? Why do you, why do you always make me want to tell you all this bad stuff? I'm like, holy shit, this must be really freaking bad. I was like, all right, let me just think. I've read a lot of books. I know a lot of crazy crap. I've seen a lot of crazy crap in my life. Let me just try to, I don't know, throw out some guesses. Maybe like, is it someone, they say they're going to cut your head off and then fuck your head. Or like... They're going to fuck your grandma and bring your grandma back to life and then kill her again and fuck her and then kill her again. <laughs> and he was like, what? No. <laughs> and he finally told me, he was like, they will say they want to rape your sister for a long time. Like forever. And I'm like, that's it? This is going to rape your sister forever? <laughs> Why would she Why would that bother you at all? What happened to the camera? Oh, my bad. I did something here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why would you just say, like, well, oh, I hate my sister. Fuck her. <laughs> I'll help you fuck her. I mean, what, what are you talking about? That's the worst thing you're worried about? Like, that's the unmentionable evil <laughs> that Iraqis talk about? Like, what the hell? Anyway, there are people always threatening to kill him and stuff, so he's changed his name on Facebook. It's pretty hilarious. Anyhow, the plan for today was to do five miles on the bike thing which I did there was a cop that was working out he was there a state trooper car left running he was there for like at least an hour after I got there so I don't know how long he'd been working out I'm pretty sure it was the guy while I was doing this he came right up next to me and started doing these grunt uh, uh, on this like pull down machine and then it, he was making a lot of noise just I just hate cops um, that's like he's practicing like taking the guy, a black guy down, and then punching him in the face. That's like the move you would do to get the kind of muscles you need to like take a black guy to the sidewalk and beat on his head. God damn, I hate cops. So anyway, I did the five miles in like twenty three thirty. I want to like get a sub twenty minute five miles. That seems like a pretty good goal. So I got to do it faster, and then I, I mean. I, Somebody said they do 10 miles a day, so I guess I should try to shoot for 10 miles. That's not really hard. I watched that uh, Yowamushi No Pedal anime, and it's like, you know, you kind of like, you use different muscles, and you kind of rest the other muscles, and like, you can just keep going infinitely, and then you also got these things, so you can just rest your legs and use your arms for a while until your legs rest, and go back on the legs, and then go down from like 80 RPMs to 70 RPMs and rest, because 70 RPMs is like pretty relaxing. It's only if like you're doing anything. Oh my God. I'm watching, not the WNBA, but like college female basketball on the TV while I'm doing this workout. And I was freaking out. I was almost laughing. Like, women's basketball is one of the funniest things. It's like a comedy movie. Everybody should start watching women's basketball just for the lulls. It was the second quarter, and the score was like 19 to 23 for almost the whole quarter. Like nobody could score. Finally, the one team kept scoring. And, like, when they finally did score, it was usually on free throws because they pulled a foul or something. They were just, like, running up to do a layup, and they would just drop the ball, and it would just fly out into the audience, and they just, they would be wide open with threes, and then it would be like, nah. Or they would shoot a three, but they would just chest pass it, and it had no arc to it, not whatsoever, and they would just try to lay up the ball, and they would just slam it against the backboard, and it just bounce off, and just, like, they're not even getting close. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so funny though, like, like the score's still not getting twenty three, and the coach is just like so mad. Like, of course he's mad. Nobody scored. <laughs> like, what? Is, you're supposed to score every time you go up and down the court, pretty much. Like, they went back and forth like five or six times. Like, is anybody ever going to score? <laughs> what is going on here? How are these guys professionals? It was so funny. 
Ah, uh, anyway. The other thing I wanted to accomplish was to get a baseline of my max deadlift weight. So, I need to Google how much the bar weighs. I don't even know. How much does barbell weigh? 40, what? 45 pounds? Okay. I was thinking like 10 pounds or something. Um, so I did 90 pounds on each side, so that's 180 plus 45, 225. Holy shit! I can deadlift 225. That seems pretty good. Is that good? 245 says 90. 90 and 90 is 180. 180 plus 45 is 225. And I wasn't even like really struggling, it was just kind of like, oh yeah, it's starting to feel hard. I don't want to like. I have one of those things like protects your back, but I didn't really understand. How to tighten it right so uh yeah i think when i finally did that weight i didn't even have the belt on so if i had the belt on i could have pushed it to maybe 250. i don't know if i could do 250. another 220 yeah just another 25 pounds yeah maybe i could do 250 i don't fucking know what's what's good for my weight i'm six foot tall and like 300 pounds i should probably be able to do like 300 pounds or something right if i had any muscles or 400 pounds i don't know 225 though, I mean, that's, it's not my body weight. I should be able to at least bench my body weight, right? Yeah, that makes more sense. And I did the, the rubber band thing up and down, I'm stretching it slow. It's all about form, and perfect form. It's not about like speed or anything. You just gotta do a slow, constant movement. And then I stopped and I rested and I read my book. I took my book to like rest in between the cardio and the the weights so I could like get more work in today. Nobody's really looking at me funny. It was a Sunday. We're trying to get many people there. One guy and his girlfriend I think were there and like another guy on a treadmill and doing Stairmaster stuff. Uh, they got this Jacob's Ladder thing where you just climb a ladder infinitely like kind of at a 45 degree or something like that. And they got this speed running machine where you lean forward and it's like you're like the flash or something. And they had, I thought they had a low rowing machine. I couldn't find it. And then they have like a skiing machine I just discovered today. I did 40 pound squats just because I don't know how to, I've never squatted. And like they have these little ramps to like get your ankles to not, my ankles don't work flat on the ground. So like last time I did 30 pound squats, so they did a 40 pound squat. I don't know. That seems low, doesn't it? But I don't have anybody spotting me. I'm just by myself. They have these little tiny weights. So I was like, yeah, let me just practice doing some squats. I mean, it's all about the form anyway. I really want to do those grail squats where you hold weight out and then you go down and then get big fat Kardashian ass. But then I uh, did some crunches and did some obliques. So I really hurt my core a little bit. And I was doing like five reps and I would stop. And I would do five reps and I would stop. It's not that my muscles were sore, it's like the fat in my belly was in the way for I wasn't able to get my lungs to fill up, so I wasn't getting enough air, so I'd have to stop and breathe for a little bit, and then I would do five, ten more, and then I would rest, and then I would do five more. And I, would rest. I did end up, I probably did like 30 or 40 of those things. And then I did a little bit of row, I did a little bit of this, shoulder presses, and then I did... Uh, leg lifts like 120 pounds something like that with the thighs burning my thighs and then I did uh, some pull downs I did a lot of these deltoid shoulder things I was really killing that thing and then rested again I read my book a little bit this book is really good by the way and then I did like a exercise bike cool down for about a mile and a quarter and um yeah uh, I just called it at that point, and I went home. I went to the bookstore, and I got some books. These are some new books, by the way. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah.